Speaker of the House, battling it out over whether Trump will get to deliver his speech in front of Congress. Now, the president is supposed to deliver that address next Tuesday. Speaker Pelosi wants him to postpone it until the government's reopened. So the fate of that address now up in the air. Linda Schmidt joins us now with a lot of developments today, Linda. <laughs> That's right. Good evening, first of all, to both of you. Well, you know, the government shutdown is now in its 33rd day. And as a result, there is a tit for tat going on, a power struggle between the president and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Well, this time, Pelosi blocking the president from giving his State of the Union address next week in the House of Representatives. President Trump's comment follows dueling letters between the president and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. Last week, Pelosi asked the president to postpone the State of the Union at the House of Representatives, claiming the government shutdown created a lack of security personnel. But today, the president telling Pelosi he will deliver the State of the Union, quote, on time, on schedule, and very importantly, on location. Pelosi's response, no, you won't. She is blocking the president until government has opened. We do not support the president holding the health, safety, and paychecks of the American people hostage again to a campaign applause line. The standoff stems from the record government shutdown, now in its 33rd day. Federal workers protesting at the Capitol, chanting, we want to work. So the question is, will the State of the Union happen at all? Presidential historian Harold Holzer says all that's constitutionally required is for the president to report the State of the Union to Congress from time to time. And he does not have to appear in person. For you no know, more than a century, they were just messages that were delivered by a clerk and read aloud by somebody else in the, in the House and Senate separately. He says primetime TV started with LBJ. Never prime time until Lyndon Johnson in 1967. And now it's, you know, since the great showman Ronald Reagan has gotten to be a major event with guests in the audience and 30 or 40 standing ovations. So now the president says he is looking for alternative locations to give his State of the Union address next Tuesday. In the meantime, tomorrow, the Senate is expected to vote on two competing bills to end the shutdown. There's a Republican-led uh, bill and a Democrat-led bill. Neither is expected to get enough votes to pass. Stephen Derry, so no end in sight.